do a Bible giveaway every video. Good morning vlog. 6.30 in the morning. We have a very busy day today. So, I'm gonna bring you along. I'm go do my Bible study real quick and then we're gonna go to the gym. I have not gone to the gym this early in the morning in such a long time. This is the only time I'm gonna be able to get the gym in and I've recommitted to myself to get my butt in the gym at least six days a week, five days a week. So, here we are, 6.30 in the morning. We're gonna go spend some time with Jesus. And I advise you do that too. I always get questions about my Bible, like every video, NIV Woman Study Bible. It's linked in my description box, but it has these little devotionals in it. It has the summary down here of what you need. And then I love when you start a new chapter, it kind of has like a timeline. The author, the background, an outline. Take my pre-workout. So I've decided this is like my second favorite flavor, Island Fusion. I thought I was grabbing the Paradise one, but I didn't. We're gonna do a whole scoop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's sour. So I'm actually gonna go with leggings today because I think it's gonna be chilly. Watch me get out there, it's like 500 degrees. I don't know. From Gymshark. I like it. It's so nice. It has like these long sleeves. This is honestly so cute. My belly is very cold. I got about 40 minutes, well, 30 minutes before I gotta leave for my hair appointment. I'm finally getting a trim. I'm so excited. But I'm gonna eat like a breakfast because I feel kind of sick. So let's eat some breakfast. I have me a protein shake. I warm up hot water. So good. So I just threw on some comfy clothes real quick. I'm very particular about getting my hair trimmed. My hair is a little ratty, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush it because she'll wash it and brush it there, but I usually start from the bottom. Ah! I brushed through all my hair. I think I'm gonna need to start changing my shampoo. I use the Miele. I've been using it for like two years now. I don't know if they changed the ingredients or the formula or whatever, but it has like this film on it like it's like waxy almost this i don't know how to explain it but i've noticed it the last like two months so i'm gonna switch it up and use a different thing but okay i'm gonna go get her a chai because my haircuts are only 20 dollars. she i found her at a salon and then she went into her like her own little studio thing but her haircuts are only 20 bucks or 25 i think 20 but um i always tip her really good and I'm gonna go get her a chai because she's the only person that actually listens to me when I say a trim. Okay, I got her spiced chai. <laughs> she texted me she was running late. Great, because I'm running late as well. <sighs> Where the heck are my keys? Oh, found them. I want to sip out of it so bad, but I won't. Okay, let's go get my hair cut. Went on a little three mile walk real quick. At the end of my walk, I actually ended up running into one of the workers from Boys and Girls Club. I literally had such a big impact on my life. And I got to see her. She has three kids now, which is so crazy, but. Okay, so here's kind of how the hair looks now. Um, it's still drying and also I went on a walk, but the curls are finally coming back. When my hair's like super long and it needs a trim, for some reason it won't curl because it's like weighed down. But I'm waiting for it to dry a little bit more. She put her product in it, so it may lay a little differently, but overall it literally just feels better. This feels lighter. Um, I was just gonna do a trim, but I haven't been there since the beginning of the year, so I just told her, I was like, honestly, just take off like two inches because it's a little too heavy right now. So this is like a really good length for me. It rinsed off really quickly. I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows a little bit. That run in with her was so nice. She was literally like my mom there. And if you grew up in the Boys and Girls Club, you understand. You have that person that you look up to. There we go. I got my gold hoops in. I think I wore this 
already before but I'll link it in my description box. It's from Amazon. Look how healthier my hair looks. But this friend is actually um, a Christian too, but I'm gonna give her some of these sticky notes, these highlighters, and then they even sent me like these Bible covers. How cool is this? So I'm gonna send her this one, give her this one and this one. Say hi to the vlog. Look how beautiful she is, guys. She's leaving me. <laughs> be back to visit. Yeah. We got fajitas. Look at this big old pepper. It looks so good. She had the same thing. Except she got extra rice. Phone eats first. Okay, I'm at church real quick. Um, not real quick, but I'm at church. There's a worship night going on for like 45 minutes, so I'm gonna be with my my family and the Lord and go worship. Morning, Captain. So last night. I had a weirdest dream and woke up at 4.30 in the morning from it. This is weird. Like, people were fighting in Walmart, like, beating each other up. I took off my sheets this morning because I'm just going to go ahead and clean them. How often do you guys clean your sheets? Because I only clean my sheets maybe twice a month. I think I'm actually going to take you guys through a whole back and bicep workout. I am pale. Girl, I'm going to go in the sun maybe a couple hours today. But I'm going to take you guys through a back and bicep workout. Because I know when I was a beginner, like, I didn't even know where to start. So, yeah. Let's take you guys to a workout. Today's Thursday. Every Thursday is young adults. But I don't know if I'm going to be going to young adults today because i got to get some work done. I am going to go to the gym. It's pretty early. Not like that early. It's 8. 8.50. Okay, let's get started on this workout. So this is my full back and bicep workout. I always begin by walking on the treadmill, warming up, and getting mentally prepared for a back day. So I usually start off with pull-ups. If you can't do pull-ups, just use the assistant machine. Don't try to be fancy. I used the assistant machine for years. And then I do some type of push-ups, whether it's knee push-ups or regular push-ups. Then my first uh, compound movement is these barbell rows on the Smith machine. Then I go into these single arm rows on the the cable machine honestly I have no idea what these are called but my boyfriend showed me them but they do work like your upper back I go lo lower in weight and higher in rep and I really do like these also um, another exercise I really like are these you could do these totally on like you know like the cable area but I like the machine because I feel like I just put like a pencil between my lats and I just squeeze the pencil if you know what I'm saying then these are rear delts and then these are also rear delts I use the cable and do like face pulls and then I just finish up with some biceps and then some more biceps and I just do cardio and abs. I had such a good workout so if you can't tell I'm kind of losing my voice. I feel fine like literally fine but um whenever I get like a little cold or whatever all I do is chop up some honey or all I do is chop up some garlic and then raw organic unfiltered honey. This one even has a bible verse on the back of it but I use like real real honey and then I just take it. It's really not that bad. My nephew's over right now. He'll keep watching the TV. He's watching Clifford. Are you walking over here? <laughs> He's a big boy. There's nothing in there, buddy. You'll figure that out. I'm gonna feed him, and then we're gonna watch some Clifford. So my nephew's sleeping. It's 9.30 p.m. I'm actually making a peach cobbler pie. Um, I never made one. I wasn't gonna vlog this, cause I was like, I just wanna bake and not film, and then I'm like, yeah, it's YouTube. You guys, I'm a family. So uh, basically, all I have to do is like to get the skin off. I boiled the peaches, and then the skin literally just like comes off so this is what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night i already made my pie crust earlier and now i'm just gonna oh my dish peaches ew they're slimy so i'm basically just gonna do a montage i'm not gonna talk through this so montage starting now
nice aluminum barrier so the crust doesn't burn very fast. But I'll, this is from the Preppy Kitchen. The only thing I did differently was I added lemon zest and a third of a cup of brown sugar. And then you reduce the heat and then he tells you everything in there. Look at the pie. It's done. So excited to slice it open. Look at that crust, that looks so good. So I wish I wouldn't have put like this sugar stuff on there because it kind of made it look weird. I thought it was gonna be like sanding sugar, but it's fine. Yeah, girl, that looks so good. It's the next day. I was up till five in the morning. So I slept until like 11, then I went to the gym real quick, chugged a bunch of pre-workout, and then um, had like a full body day. I'll do like a little, a little clip of what I did. I didn't Want, like higher reps just to kind of get in there but I've been doing abs four times a week which I never do abs and <laughs> I've already seen like a difference which is crazy and I only do it for like maybe two minutes but just little by little spent the last hour cleaning I actually cleaned my bathroom drain like you know when you see something nasty and you're like okay I just need to clean it and then I took it apart girl there was like a lot of hair it was disgusting so anyway I cleaned it um cleaned my bathroom just cleaned like my mirrors and stuff and i also had a slice of the cobbler pie it was so good guys i think it'd be perfect with a little bit of like ghirardelli caramel and then some vanilla bean ice cream because right now i'm getting ready i'm going to be going to a baseball game i live kind of by notre dame so south bend we have the south bend cubs it used to be called silver hawks but anyways so i'm gonna be going there for the rest of my night and then we're getting food after yep just gonna do my hair a little bit oh guys my hair feels so much better once i got a haircut so glad i did too because now all i have to do is just put some water in it and then um, i'll put like a little bit of product but other than that that's all so curls i'll either use the rizzo curls or it's called like it starts with an f both of them are really good. Um, it's usually the Rizzo Curls that I can find anywhere. The other one, I usually have to like order it online. So if I'm at the store, I'll just grab this one. But curl pudding is typically what I put in my hair only towards the end. And if your hair gets a little hard with it or it kind of like looks wet, the next day it'll look better. So, cause it'll kind of like soften up. So I only put like literally a little bit. Then, <clears throat> cause when I was little, my hair used to be <laughs> a lot of curls but that's why I like to keep it long because it makes it more like wavy because the curls are too much like I just don't have the patience to take care of it did a little mascara some blush and then totally running late I wear these all the time now because now I only have like two pairs of shorts I wear this top all the time and yeah probably gonna bring a clip though for my hair and then I'll see you guys at the game Saturday. It's like 4 p.m. I also got like the C4, the strawberry kind. Super good. Then my boyfriend called me and he's like, hey, I'm gonna take you on a date. I was like, okay. So I'm gonna go get ready. We're actually going to a restaurant that we both used to like really like and then it kind of went downhill so we haven't gone there like in a year and a half and I was like, he called me. He's like, I won't, like we should give it a try and I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's give it a try because it used to be really good. Maybe they've got their crap together but it's an Italian place. They have the best lemon cake. Go with like a neutral color. But, um, so something I was just doing, uh, one of the girl ladies at our church said that there was like an emergency thing with somebody she knows and 
they needed some girl clothes and I actually was just thinking about getting some clothes ready to donate or take to platers or something. Girl apparently is 14 so I was like, oh this is perfect. I already went ahead and I got a bunch of clothes ready um, to give them. You know, and growing up, that's kind of, I never knew where we were going to live, you know, motels. Oh, we lived in this one motel. Oh my gosh, I'm giving you guys a little bit about my childhood. I usually don't tell, I usually don't tell people this stuff on social media, but I don't go too far into detail, but we used to live in this one motel and the only channel that came on in this motel, and this was like a rinkety dinkety hotel, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was the only show that would come on. And I remember I was sitting there and I didn't, we didn't own a brush. So I, I was using a plastic fork to like brush my hair. And I was like, oh, I'm a mermaid. I'll go film bad for me in the comments. Okay, I don't need that. I, God, shield, God protected me and shielded me from like that way of thinking. So I don't need, you know, any of that. I just, it's just so cool to see what God does. So when I find out there's somebody that doesn't have something, I'm like, let me know what they need because God will provide it. He has given me a way to help provide. I seen that Facebook post and I was like, okay, this is where I, this is where I can help because I have this stuff and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and get this girl like some hygienic stuff maybe some uh, like pads tampons or deodorant or something like that okay here is the makeup look I would need to pick something out I think I want to do a dress I'm gonna wear this dress yes ma'am um I think I'm just gonna do like some braids in the front yeah maybe like like that Every time I do this hairstyle, everyone's like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. And it literally takes like five seconds. You just braid the front. Like you don't even have to do like a French braid or anything. Just do two braids and I put like those little gold charms in them, which I get off Amazon. Okay, here are the jewels. That's, look how cute they are. Add my perfume. I think that's how you say his name. I don't know. It sounds like one of those fancy names. Okay, here is... So I'll see you guys at the restaurant. Oh. I was like, why'd I get a spoon? You know you're at a fancy place and they give you a spoon to eat your pasta. Mm -hmm. It's been a couple days. It is now Monday. I'm trying to just get up, go to the gym, you know, obviously make Jesus my priority. And I heard this quote the other day. He was from the George Jenko show. He's a great podcaster, but he also brings people on there that like challenge him and then it's just good conversation. But he said something like, whatever is the first thing you do in the morning, that's what you put above everything else. So like now I've been trying my best, just like spend time with Jesus. So I actually got some new shampoo and conditioner. I do have dry, drier hair, and so I do get like um, the andrew and stuff. So I got the scalp sink from Biolage. And then this is what I used to use, the Hydrosource um, from conditioner. But this is expensive, I will say. It's not like, you know, suave or anything like that. It's, I got it at Ulta, you get two of them for 30, I think. So, But the Miele, like I was saying earlier, it's, my hair is just getting so oily after using it. And um, I just want to take care of my dandruff. So this is what I'm using for now. I'll update you guys, you know, in the next couple days of how my hair kind of looks after using it. guys look at this garlic bread look how good that looks i just got some like discounted like bread from hot from kroger's and then i just mix garlic butter salt more garlic every time anywho i mixed that all together and then yeah made some garlic bread here's dinner
Good morning. Did you guys like that little montage? I'm gonna go ahead and do my Bible giveaway. If you're new here, I do a Bible giveaway every video. What you have to do to enter to win the NIV Women's Study Bible giveaway is these requirements and in the YouTube comments, go ahead and answer this question. I wanna know a little bit about you guys. Tell me your name, your age, where you're from, maybe a little bit about yourself. Are you a mom? Are you a student? Where do you work? You know, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some breakfast and then we're gonna go to the gym and hit a shoulders and tricep day. I'll take you guys along for a little bit. Still stuffed from that spaghetti last night, so I'm just gonna have a little yogurt. today here's like a little update on the hair with the conditioner I use I didn't put any product in it and I slept with it uh, like this it feels very soft so the shampoo I got was like a clarifying shampoo I think too but um, it get like it got rid of like buildup and all that yeah it feels a lot more lighter okay I just ran into Dollar General they didn't have any Rice Krispies, but I think these are going to be way better. The Golden Grahams Rice Krispies. 12 grams of sugar, which is perfect for to get some fast sugars. If you don't know, I have a tendency of passing out. Ever since I was a kid, I pushed myself to the absolute max. And I've passed out many, many times. And I passed out twice here in their bathroom. So every time I always have like a, um, a little sugary treat on hand just in case. Because... You just never know, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Oh, that's a good little size. These are cute. Back from the gym, so I decided I'm actually gonna go to the pool at my apartment. I know how much of a luxury that is. Like, it was crazy to me when I got this apartment and they're like, oh, there's a pool. I'm like, girl, what? Okay, bougie. And maybe just lay out for 20, 25 minutes just to get a, a nice little tan. Because I got this from Amazon and this from Amazon. Just wearing this cover up. Got some shades on and then, this is not even my towel. I don't have any clean towels, so. Ow. My book, just in case I wanna read. There's nobody at the pool right now. It's hot when you're sitting out, but honestly, it feels better when you're in the pool. On my way to go pick up my lunch, put your orders in like on a Google form, and then um, I'm picking up right now at 11.30. I got my stuff. It kind of was like hidden because they're like making their storefront. So I was like, am I walking into the right place? When I walked into the building, there was like a yard sale going on. I was like, she's like, the yard sale's not open yet. I'm like, I am not. So I just kept walking and then I found, it was like in this little room, but Oh my gosh, it came with chips. Ooh, girl. This, oh, period, girl, this looks good. So I got two of these elote salads. Look at that, look how good that looks. And then I got a Southwest chicken wrap. It's in a box, I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, I opened up my box. Guys, look, it looks so good. So, ooh, I can smell the baby pickles. Girl, this looks good. Look at that. So it comes with two of those, some little baby dill pickles. And I didn't know, but there was a cookie in the box. How nice. So I'm gonna eat this, hang out with my aunt. She's eating some of the peach cobbler I made. And yeah, you wanna see their dog? Corey, say hi. Hi. No. 